Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's just get into it, all right? Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Aquarius, click that like button, go ahead. Thank you. All right. So Aquarius, we have, I mean, the best reading, right? You have vibrant. So you have the Queen of Wands. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Page of Cups. You have the Will of Fortune. And then you have uh, the Justice card. It looks like Aquarius. What you reap is what you're sowing. Some of you, what you're, um, what, excuse me, uh, what you have sown has been just good. It's been great. And you're getting all of that back. You're getting some fairness, some equality, some honesty, some justice here. Because there could have been where at a time in your life you felt like everything was upside down and that you were treated unfairly. You were treated poorly. You had to just continue doing something, continue going through the drudgery, the oppression, the obligation. You just kept showing up for it, whether this was a relationship or a job or maybe even family dynamic, whatever it may have been. It's just kind of like you were on autopilot with it, just continuing to go, you know, and now you're at a place where you're coming out of, you know, maybe um, a hard time, the page of wands. It's like a renewed sense of yourself. So there's renewal happening with you. Some of you could be like, I heard aging backwards. Or like you just like you look youthful. There's a youthful vibe about you. You may have gotten a makeover or you're getting a makeover. Something to do with your hair. Something to do with your look. Your clothing also. You look like, you know, um, I heard, okay, you look like money in respect to your bank account, whatever that may look like for you. You just look like, you know, um, what you look like you're having it your way and you're able to explore new things because of all the, the time spent doing something that was of obligation. It was hard. It was taxing. You felt like you were being taken for granted. You didn't know where you were going. You were on autopilot. It's just like showing up for something and just knowing one day, someday, this is going to change. It's going to be better. It looks like you're getting your better Aquarius, especially in business or career or finance. There could be a job offer, promotion or some sort. Destiny also, it's like the Wheel of Fortune is uh, aligning things for you right now. Um, some of you are having the same dreams or um, same premonitions as other people in your soul tribe, soul circle here with the destiny because it talks about maybe the changing of um, social circles. So maybe you'll find your tribe, whatever that may be, whoever that may be for you. You know, um, you guys may be getting the same downloads if you knew these people or if you know these people, if you were to talk about the dreams, the vivid, um, you know, um, I don't know, the inspiration that comes to you, maybe it's synonymous or there's some, you know, similarity in terms of the messages that you're getting, you know, uh, versus, you know, the, the next person. Um, this is also psychic abilities being heightened for you or people around you can't make it up with the desk, with the will of fortune. So it's just like, um, yeah, dreams here. Your dreams could be, um, yeah, I'm having like in sync, synchronicity with a soul tribe, with a group of people, with a set person. I don't know. 
Um, also, this is the universe putting things in place so you can take, you know, opportunity. This is, it's like they're opening the door. You just got to walk through it. Um, this is, uh, you know, fortune favors the brave. So you got to do something again, walking through the door. This is, could even be meeting the one because you have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck and you have the queen of wands here. This could even be the changing of, you know, some very karmic relationship. It changing from it being karmic and maybe a bit, you know, just unhealthy, toxic, if you will, to it changing into something, you know, where there is uh, fairness. Um, there's a change, a, definitely a change in a masculine energy. So that could be you. That could be someone else. I don't know. If you were, if you felt like you were treated unfair in this relationship, it looks like it's definitely changing here. Like somebody's gonna come back to you, maybe even surprise you with how, you know, fair, honest uh, they want to be. They uh, they know that a decision has to be made, and they they're not gonna be swayed by maybe another party or outside party or other things it's like somebody's really getting it waking waking up to who you are what the relationship is it's like a positive movement forward um there there could have been a, an extreme level of pettiness in the relationship it looks like it's definitely changing for the better yeah somebody wants you to this is a wow this is a really good reading um they want you to fall in love with them again you know um they want to date you, court you. Uh, they know that you you might be guarded because of how they treated you initially. But they want a new start. They want abundance, an overflow of emotions, love, a new start in a relationship. Somebody wants to put you up on the pedestal. Someone sees you as very uh, honorable, you know, a high worth or a high value or whatever it may be here. Um, Someone sees that they can have expansion with you. Somebody could want to get you pregnant or get pregnant. Or someone could even want to pop the question to you. And let's see what's going on here. So we have reconcile coming in the reverse. And that's because I don't think it's time right now. Because with the Wheel of Fortune coming out, it talks about timing. Perfect timing. You know, maybe timing of the universe. So it looks like you will reconcile, but not right now. Let's see what this deck wants to tell the Aquarius. For some of you, your person is just going through some significant change here. It could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could be anybody of Libra. Libra coming up again, Virgo. It could be anyone. All right, so don't get hung up on signs. But if this is your story, if this is that, maybe... Um, you feel like something or somebody's going to surprise you with change. King of Swords. So that could be you. It could be someone else also. Um, you got three kings showing up now. So it's definitely in business matters. You got a yes across the board. And this could be a very po profitable uh, business venture that you are um, about to embark on or you have already started. The Eight of Swords. So it's like somebody is in a place of um, they're stuck or they're stagnant. <clears throat> somebody was like kind of clingy to, you know, um, or clinging to the fact that maybe you would never leave. Now they have to have change. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's at a place where they thought you would never leave. Now you left and they're in a place of feeling depletion, lack of confidence. Some of you were in a place of um, you feel like you your business ventures are going like this uncertain uncertain money you don't know if you're going to make money or if you should do it like uncertain you know self employment here it's like you're waiting for something to come in or you're waiting for somebody to come and rescue you or I don't know it's, it's like you've given up in terms of business the Ten of Cups, there could be someone who comes to you with a, a loved one comes to you with a business proposition. It says, you know, it's a go, but look over the materials, look over the um, the documents or however you structure this. It says that 
the universe is setting the stage for happiness. It's just about how you perform. You, you know, you have the opportunity to have the highest level of happiness here. This also could be calling a truce in, in family, you know, or with a loved one. Queen of Pentacles. Now you have the King and Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Wands. So some relationship is really about to manifest. And it's going to turn um, healthy. You know. Um, yeah. The Sun card. So it's like. Um, somebody could be pregnant. Or someone wants to get you pregnant. Or someone sees you as the one. Or someone sees you as the, the quintessential good wife. Or you, you would make a good wife. Again high value. You're seeing yourself as a catch. Other people see you as a good catch. Um, you're finally looking at yourself as deserving. You could be a working parent. You care about your body, what you put in your body. You could be doing some earth magic. You could be into horticulture or like planting or you know, starting your own garden. Um, you may grow your own food or this is what you're trying to go after. Uh, I heard business, business. You're trying to make a business out of something. You have the Empress showing up again with the Moon card. So there's somebody who wants, who's separated from you, who wants another opportunity to create with you, to uh, come back to you. Uh, someone sees your worth, definitely. Uh, they see how abundant, fertile you are, how you can just make things happen. You say it, you do it. Your word is your bond. You don't say things that you're not going to do or that you're not going to take part in. Um, someone is seeing you as trustworthy also okay um especially a feminine energy someone is seeing a, a feminine ener energy is trustworthy someone has deep emotions for you vivid dreams coming up especially if you're separated from this person they're speaking to you they're trying to speak to you you know via your dreams um with the moon card it's like unexpressed emotions repressed or suppressed you know not wanting to allow it to come out there could be hidden enemy also around you uh, maybe someone that you're not exactly close to but they have means to get to you or talk to you or talk to other people about you also maybe even gossip the world card it's like some of you are coming into a level of maturity uh, graduation graduation from the baby stage you know to um, maybe toddler or um, some of you going from adolescent to adult in terms of your spirituality. Some of you have gone to a graduation or you are graduating. Um, some of you are getting married or you're closing out some cycle here and going into something else. This could be from going from employee to employer or just entrepreneurship. It's like big life cycle close. Okay, next chapter. Um, this could be the ending of a relationship. This could be the maturity of a relationship. You're going to deal with each other different, differently, like maternity. Okay, so it's like maybe the universe was, um, you know, preparing you for this. Now it's time for you to give birth to it. Whatever this may be. What is this about uh, for the Aquarius here? What do we have for the Aquarius? The Six of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, I was like... So you're pregnant with the good idea, but some of you have not birthed just yet. Um, some of you are learning that you're, you know, actually pregnant. It could be the early stages. Um, some of you, this is, again, a lot of unexpressed energy. This is also some of you just needing to accept that you got to leave the past behind and leave that self-sabotaging, self-sacrificing energy behind. You can't keep putting yourself on the chopping block for a relationship, for people, for whatever. You have to leave it behind and that's the only way you're going to have peace, serenity, calm. You really have to choose peace, serenity, and calm. It just doesn't find you. You have to choose it. Um, with the Six of Swords, there could be somebody here, again, that you're not talking to. Uh, or there's very little communication. They want to have not expressed um, just how much devotion, love that they have for you with the Six of Swords and the High Priestess. This is unexpressed love. They have deep love for you. But they, I don't know, they just haven't really expressed it. Uh, they find you irresistible, desirable. Maybe even at this point, unattainable. Some of you are dealing with, or they are dealing with, or your person is dealing with, maybe a ruthless individual who will do anything 
to win. This could be the other woman. You could be the other woman. This is somebody who's calculated. This is somebody who is doing, you know, maybe magic, earth magic, whatever, to keep someone stuck bound to them. Okay, that could be happening around you also. This is um, somebody feeling like you're, you're the best they ever had in every way. You know, best love, best sex, you know, best conversation. She is a conversationalist. The high priestess says, don't bore me. You know, like, I know a lot. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to flaunt what I know, but I do know a lot. And if we are conversing, don't bore me, you know, in, in conversation. Uh, the high priestess also says, you know, the woman that lives alone, this could be a shop owner, salon owner, or this is what you aspire to be. Um, the high priestess, you know, again, good sex. A decision needs to be made here in the, with the high priestess. Somebody is not moving or you're not moving or someone's not moving around you or things aren't moving. But it looks like it will be, it looks like the universe is really working things out in your favor. You know, really moving things around you know so that you can have yeah wow as i say that it fell into my hand to give you your wish fulfillment nine of cups it says make a wish it could very well come true um to bring into you what you are have been asking for you know emoting for so you got a lot of emotions about this um what you've been wanting what you, your desires are you know so the universe for some of you are going to fulfill your heart's desire with the nine of cups here the nine is God energy, so it's definitely coming from spirit, God, whatever you believe in to be your God, high source, power, I don't know. Um, somebody's also praying, wishing, hoping for you, too. You can't pray and hope and wish for something that you already have. So it's definitely somebody who is apart from you or you're apart from them or it's apart from you. You're hoping and wishing for, you know, a new house. So, of course, you don't have it. Um, let's see what do we have to tell Aquarius what's really going on here it looks like Aquarius for in terms of relationships and relationship is shifting my head on the right side just started hurting somebody's thinking about you continuously you know they want you to use the right side of your brain um, putting others before you really yeah I couldn't I can't make this stuff up these two cards came out so initially what we talked about was someone treated you unfair in a relationship you don't just didn't give you the time of day just didn't put you first just was a liar just was a cheat just didn't care didn't give a damn was a taker wasn't depositing anything into the relationship just you know making withdrawals but look, they were putting others before you in this relationship. But look what, you know, is coming in now. They want to surprise you with a new life, new home, new car, new baby. Surprise. And it could be the universe giving you these surprises also. It could be the same person. It could be a new person. Yeah, you know, somebody was wanting to keep you as a sex, you know, sex only relationship. Or um, somebody was having sex with your friend. Or you had sex with someone's friend. Or um, someone was saying that, oh, she is just a friend. But it was that it was more than that. Yeah, someone knows that they're handsome, they're good looking. Um, but they feel like your body is perfect, especially with this high priestess. Queen of Wands coming out first. Um, someone was wanting to keep the relationship as just physical, you know, because they felt like, you know, that's all that... Um, they had to give or they, that's where they wanted to keep the relationship somebody's definitely unbothered or, or if somebody's picking up that's how you are operating with the other person is that it comes off as if you are unbothered body goals somebody is definitely moving or, or wanting to move there's a lot of gossip about you a lot of spying questioning you know because of just all the shit you're doing, Aquarius, things are happening fast for you. The Eight of Wands, it says that obstacles are being removed. Life is happening at a fast pace. The law of attraction, whatever it is you are tr trying to attract, it could be a move. You know, uh, with the Fool card, it could be um, a leap of faith and letting something new develop in your life also. So this isn't 
we have the world and the fool here. So closing one cycle, going to the next, you're letting something new develop in your life. Analyze that statement. So if you're letting something new develop in your life, then it's it's not reaching backwards for that old person or those that old group of people used to hang with. You're letting something new develop. This is only for those who are really wanting newness, you know. Again, we have a lot of people studying you, spying on you, and, and but not making any moves because you might have put them in a friend zone or this could be friends. Someone was an outright liar, but they saw that you were very loving and giving. They could have been of two minds about you, but it looks like it's coming in the reverse, so they're not. They could have kept their options open. Was in love or strong like with two different people, you and someone else. Uh, definitely maturity. So, um, the world card coming up again. So something is definitely maturing or somebody's maturing or something is coming to a close here. It's just time to really let it go, you know, to continue to look backwards at this thing is, is hindering you. Um, what does Aquarius person, whomever they came for to this reading for, what do they want to tell Aquarius? Then we'll get some future energy and we'll close out. Um, I care for you. I need more money. This is just about the sex, okay? So if your person is still dealing with a toxic energy, because we did see that ruthless woman coming up, it's just about the sex for them. They're not really in love with that person. They're saying they need more money to maybe make a move with you. They do care for you. Um, last cards for what the Aquarius person wants to tell the Aquarius. What does the Aquarius person want? Okay, two cards came out. I am leaving. So they want you to know that I am leaving. Okay, they're leaving this behind. The player, F-boy, F-girl behind. So they're trying to leave that behind. You know, uh, right now they don't have a lot of time. And it could be because they feel like they need more money. They do care for you. Okay. Um, so leave them alone. Alright, so let's go to... The future energy. Someone was definitely a liar, thief. They were just trying to take, take, take. You may even have someone trying to resurface the same energy. It looks like the universe has really put restraint on the relationship because somebody's just not ready, just not ready right now. It's like it's like somebody's telling you, look, with the tempers card, I'm trying to get my life together. It literally says that with the tempers card. Someone trying to get their life together, trying to have more balance. Take the middle ground in life. Somebody was overindulging. Maybe drinking drugs, alcohol, sex. I don't know. There was no balance. There was no middle ground. Could be dealing with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a husband type figure. Maybe even a wife. It's like somebody's trying to get their life in order here. A team reduces to a five. So things are kind of out of order, out of whack. It is a temporary energy. They can pull themselves out. But it is not for you to help them, Aquarius. And that might be the reason why the universe is keeping you, you two apart. It's not for you to say, they need help. Okay, and you you put your superwoman cape on or your superman cape. And you fly right in to save the day. You know, if that was the case, then you didn't need spirit. You didn't need all of this. Finding out that they were toxic and karmic and this and that and you and that. You didn't need that. You just needed for them to fail one more time so you can fly right in and help them. So this might be for you to take a hands-off approach in terms of this relationship, Aquarius. If it does not, you know, um, directly involve you, don't involve yourself. All right, what do we have for the near future for the Aquarius Collective? Okay, three coming out of time. So y'all creating something. You definitely have somebody here in deep in thought about you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, you just have somebody here who maybe you're in a relationship with, a marriage with. Maybe you go on in business with them or you thought about going into business with them or you're thinking about it. Um, you also, okay, so 16, 17, so you got something going in order here. Um, definitely order. Well, look at that. Uh, reduced to 7, 8, and then 8. Okay, so 7 and 8 don't go together. So it's like, yeah, it's like the universe is trying to restrict. So you guys are not together, Okay can't be together and thinking about somebody and, and they just encompass your thoughts on you know you're apart and the universe put that restriction there 
And then eventually you guys will have reunion or reconciliation. We had reconciliation come out or reconcile in the reverse. It's not time. Maybe around the next holiday or around someone's birthday. Maybe for you, I don't know, get a personal reading. Because somebody has to choose a different path. They can't keep choosing to do the same thing. And you don't need to be there as they make the choice. You know, the life altering choice. Okay? You don't need to be prompting them to that or ushering them into that. They have to do it all by themselves. Could be about a, a man, a main male here. Someone has to definitely come out of negativity, come out of doing the same thing over and over again, allowing someone to come back to you. Um, also, my Aquarius male, allowing someone to come back to you over and over again. Um, somebody's going through some real hard times, some tough work. Or they're doing a lot of work on themselves. And you just need to let them do it. Yeah, somebody's really dealing with their shadow side here. Working on that another eight. Working on their shadow side. What they have manifest, they're, they're going to have to deal with that karma. And, and they're dealing with it. You know, someone does hard labor for work also. That could be a part of their karma or karmic cycle. Um, we have a feminine energy who's already in her maturity. And we have a main male who needs to catch up to the mature woman here. Yeah. All right. So that is the future energy for you guys. It, it just reads almost like the other cards. Um, if there's a, a particular person you want back into your life, let them do them right now. And you focus on you. You've got a lot of abundance and a lot of good stuff coming in to you. If you're trying to buy a house, start a new job or start a business. It looks like that's what you need to be focused on. Um, maybe even health, wealth, and uh, fitness here for some of you. Focus on you. You cannot focus on them and you. You need to put all energy, effort into you right now. It does not include them. And they need to focus on what they need to focus on and let the universe um, really take hold um, of them. Somebody's really wanting to talk to you. You put boundaries up too for some of you. And the boundaries are, weren't necessarily like um, harsh and mean. Like don't talk to me and don't call me. It was more so you changed your approach with this person. You know, yeah, you can call me. You can talk to me. But, um, you know, that's all it's going to be. A phone call, you know, a text message. It's nothing more. It's nothing less. I'm not putting any energy into it. And I hope that you don't unless you come with the right energy. And some of you change your approach to just that. Like, we can converse, but that's all we can pretty much do right now. You know, um, and you're also focused on you or you need to be focused on you. Um, there's a lot, a lot of people wanting to know what you're doing, how you get all this abundance right now. A lot of people, maybe in your family or in your group or a friend group is what I meant to say. How you winning so much great fortune, sudden abundance? Because, see, you came from, you know, despair, Aquarius. And they want to see how, how you, all of a sudden, you just, you know, you, you, you're doing your thing. Let them wonder. Let them wonder. Keep your plans to yourself. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Um, buy your uh, amethyst and black tourmaline beads. Um, they're good for healing, protection. Um, you can also, uh, once, if you make a purchase of any bracelet, you'll be able to ask uh, one question too. You'll get one question answered via the tarot. Um, so you'll get a bracelet and one question answered. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, also, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a collective reading, and then you can ask questions. Uh, come learn the Tarot with me. The, the classes are linked below. Join the actual uh, channel. There's a Join button there. Join the channel. Get uh, access to the extended readings. And then you can also ask one question every month. Okay. So join the channel, all extended readings, and you get to ask one question every month. All right, so thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.